your bolo take back at it again with another vlog i hope you guys are having a great day today before i get into the vlog i just want to say we are dropping new tecla merch real soon uh, these are one of the hoodies that we're going to be dropping it says low tech i can't wait i'm so excited for this drop i'm like looking forward to it and we also got let me show you give me a sec give me a sec beanies check that out we got it in gray like an olive green and black got beanies coming guys i am super excited for this drop i cannot freaking wait and we have a camo hoodie uh which i'll show you guys throughout the week um it's gonna be dope i'm excited but enough of that about this vlog so if you guys watched yesterday's vlog um you saw that i was at a car meet right So I wasn't at that car meet for too long. I left, I was only there for like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and then I dipped. But uh, if you guys remember the, everybody was saying it in the last vlog that the bike was really annoying. I think it's like straight pipe, dude, it's so loud. But I get it, it could be annoying, but to some at least. So others, it sounds cool. But um, yeah, anyways, my boy had a backpack on him that day and he left it in my Z and I went home with it. So. I wasn't planning on going back to the meet. I went home to switch to the Evo because I was gonna go to the gym. When I was putting the Z away, I saw this backpack was in my car. I was like, damn it, I gotta call this guy, give him his backpack back. And so yeah, I called him up and I and he told me to if I could just drop it off with him again. I was like, sure, why not? Keep in mind, I'm switching cars and I was just at the meet with, with the Z. So switching to the Evo, and then going back to the meet kind of, kind of made me look like a douchebag because it just made it seem like I wanted to show off both cars. And that wasn't my intention. That's all. When I went back to the meet, I literally had all my windows up. I didn't say hi to anybody. I literally drove through, dropped it off, and dipped. I totally forgot my friend left his backpack in my Z. So now I'm back in the Evo to this car meet. People are going to think I just came to flex and bring both my cars. So as soon as I got onto the street, I did a pull. I did double the speed limit easy right in front of a cop see i didn't know that until i'm like about to get on the freeway and right before i was gonna get on the freeway everybody's blowing up my phone texting me calling me i'm like what the fuck is going on i'm reading it like they're telling me cops are always on their way watch out blah blah, blah. i was like fuck and i look up at my mirror and sure enough lit me up pulled me over i was like damn it there goes that <laughs> i got pulled over so this is what happened How's it going? How you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Is this a race car? Huh? Is this a race car? No. Why are you driving it like a race car? Uh, I'm in a rush, that's why. It's completely okay to, yeah. to do like literally double over the speed limit down Orange Star? No. You have your license, registration, your trooper insurance? Too long ago, that's all they sent me in the mail. How long do you have the car? Uh, two, three months now. Okay. Just going. Here's the deal. Okay, number one, that that ticket going double over the speed limit because I'm at like 75, 80, trying to catch up to you. Yeah. And I can't catch up to you. I'm going down North Shore. Yeah. Okay pretty stupid to come out of the lot with all the guys that you want to go have them look at your car yeah because it's a nice car and then go Thank look you. at me yeah. like an idiot when there's a cop literally right across the street yeah not the not, smartest yeah, idea i agree okay i'm gonna tell you right now 
I understand. Dude, I was a young kid too, dude. I had a nice muscle car when I probably when I was your age. V8. Okay? <laughs> I showed it off too, but I wasn't an idiot about it. Yeah. Okay? This is like a missile, dude. This yeah. is like a two thousand pound missile that you're gonna kill somebody. Yeah. You, you kill so you hit somebody doing double over speed limit with all the transits out here, you plow into them, yeah. you're gonna go spend a good fifteen years in state prison for manslaughter. Yeah, I get it. I got hit by a car so and I still haven't right? learned. Yeah. Think That's why I got like it, I got stitches on my lip from a guy speeding. You gotta you got think about it. Yeah. Okay? It's a nice car. The last thing you want is this thing to get taken away from you. Yeah, I know. That would suck. And Next thing you know, you're paying a good 1500 bucks to get out of the impound. Yeah. And then our our traffic guys are going to come through, and they're going to come look at your car. And if there's anything that shouldn't be on your car that's modified, yeah. then you don't get your car back. Oh, that would suck. And if it's truly modified with, like, nitrous or some things that does yeah, not yeah. make it street legal, yeah. they actually smash your car, and then they send you a picture of it. <laughs> and, you, and you still get to make the payments on it. Hell no. <laughs> I would cry. Okay? Not, <laughs> Not the smartest thing to do. Yeah, I understand. Are you on probation or anything? Uh, no, I don't think so. No? Okay. I was for a year. I couldn't get any tickets for a year, but I think it's over now. All right. I just got off of it, if anything. Okay. Chill out for a second. Okay. that you are going to get a total warning for the, for that speed. Understand? Yeah. No, I understand. I want to give you the big ticket because you do have a plate on there. So, yeah, but I understand though. I live down the street from there and uh, I shouldn't even be speeding because I know there's always traffic down there. And exactly, it, dude. Yeah. And, you know, and, and I, I just got off probation you know, and I'm, too. And I'm, sure, and I'm sure a lot of those guys, you know, it, it is what it is. Like I said, when I was young, Dude, I knew everybody yeah. else. So, you know, and we would all go show our cars to each other and all that good stuff. Yeah. And it is what it is. Don't, yeah. Don't you, go there, dude. Yeah, I on that it is a hot spot ever since ever since some people want to start being jackasses there. Yeah, no, they And they, they destroyed ruined a bunch it. of Fulton police department units. Yeah, they it's kind they, of a hot spot. So yeah, I got freaking lucky. Like I literally already had it in mind, like, oh, F your ticket's gonna hate me. Uh, if you guys don't know who F your ticket is, he's my attorney. He's the one that helps me out with all my tickets. Shout out to him. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have my license right now. So, um, but anyways, yeah, like he was gonna kill me. I'm like, fuck, I don't want to tell him. And I texted him. Like, I, literally, while I was waiting for the guy to write my ticket up, um, I was waiting for him. While I was waiting, I sent uh, F your ticket a uh, text. I was like, you're gonna hate me. And then. Next thing you know, lets me off with a warning. I was like, fuck yeah, this is dope. And then I was like, never mind, we're good. He let me go. He didn't believe me as I called him right after and I explained everything to him. So yeah, we're good. I got so fucking lucky. Like my luck, oh my God. I have like the best luck ever when it comes to this stuff. Like I, how do you get away with that? Uh, main reason is because he couldn't pace me and he didn't get a radar to see how fast I was going. So he was gonna try to get me for a fix a ticket for my plates, but I did have them on this car. They're just on the left side of the car and the, on the front. But he didn't see it. Sorry guys, my camera died, so I'm switching over to the iPhone just to finish up the vlog. So yeah, he tried to get me a fix a ticket for the plates, but I told him that I did have them. So he went to check and he's like, well, this is your lucky day. You get no ticket. I got so lucky, he let me go. And yeah, that is fucking crazy. I got so freaking lucky, I swear. When we learned my lesson, don't be speeding on public streets. I usually don't even do that. I just did it because, I don't know, I got hyped leaving the meet. Everybody was watching. And I like to give people shows while I'm leaving the meet. <laughs> Bad habits, but uh, yeah, he was super chill cop, though. Really super chill. He was telling me that he used to be in the car scene and all that, and he gets it. And he was just telling me to slow it down and did it to myself what can i do you know so it is what it is i'm good though oh and we're almost to 55k subscribers guys once we hit 55 i'm gonna be doing a giveaway uh i know i said i was gonna give a do a giveaway for the he evil headlight video if you comment on there you're good if you haven't go back to that video and comment because i'm gonna be doing a giveaway for that i'll try to announce the winner for that one this sunday yeah oh and we're gonna be doing black friday sale this weekend be ready for that black friday we're going to be having a, a huge sale all the techno merch so be on the lookout for that 
And uh, yeah, that's it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And guys, remember why you started.